In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a school certificate design in PowerPoint. You can use this certificate for uh, some uh, school opening announcement or for some games or some events in the school or colleges or in the office as well. So you can see here I have created uh, this particular uh, design where you can put your school or college name and then what's the main purpose of this uh, for this uh, invitation you can say open day invitation and then I have added some paper uh, curl effect here you can add some details and below also you can add some detailed text and when this is going to happen you can put all these details here likewise i have created a few more designs or uh, with some different color combinations you can see here this one this and if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or Patreon, the link is provided in the video description section and this particular school certificate design was requested by one of my subscribers so depending on his requirement I'm just going to make this one and it can be used by any person uh, just download and use it uh, the template so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and I'm going to change the slide size to A4 for that go to design tab slide size select the custom slide size and from the drop down you need to choose A4 size or A4 paper and the orientation keep it portrait and click on OK and will ask two option you can choose any of the option either the extended or fit then I'm going to add the margins for that right mouse click you can see here the grid and guides and I'm going to add the vertical guide just click it here and then just I'm dragging this one to the right 3.50 again right mouse click you can just add the vertical guide one more and then move this one towards the left and then two more one for the the horizontal at the top you can see here and then one more at the bottom okay so these are my four uh, guidelines i have added if you want you can delete also you can just select this one or just right mouse click and delete also all right you can if you want to change some colors also you can just change the color so depending on your requirement you can uh, choose that one now so this is my area print area where i'm going to place all my shapes or text or whatever right for that go to insert shapes and i'm going to select one rectangle and using this rectangle i'm going to cover all till here you can see here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill again what color you need depending on that you can just fill this one so i'm going to fill this with dark purple color all right now next thing i would like to add a curl paper effect here for that let me just go to insert shapes and i'm going to choose this right triangle draw the right triangle you can see here something like this shape outline make it no outline and then i can just rotate it something like this you can see here and then i can add one more time and this should be something like this all right so this is uh, the uh, basic design i have used now let me just change this one before changing this one if you want you can give some uh, gradient fill for that go to format shape and select the gradient fill and you can see here uh, because I have already used before I have used like a different color combination a tan you can see here this di different colors I have used you can go to more colors and you can just choose the color or it's up to your requirement depending on what uh, requirement you need you can just add it now once this is done I'm just going to change the direction maybe the direction should something like this all right and what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the shape for that right mouse click edit point and then just you can see here move it something like this and I'm just going to bend a little bit you can see here from this also I'm just going to bend it and this one I'm going to make it somewhat up you can see here so and then again if you want a little bit bend also you can do it from this side also Alright, so you can see here I have created uh, uh, the curl paper effect here. 
it will not be visible unless and until you add one more shape for that let me just go to insert shapes select one uh, rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here I'm drawing the rectangle shape outline make it no outline shape fill I'm going to choose very light color and then just send me this to back and then this white should not be visible you know uh, above this uh, the curve this golden paper effect for that right mouse click edit point and then I'm just going to bring down till here you can see here let me just zoom in you have to make sure that it has to be done properly all right all right so you can see here still I can see some visible lines are there so further I just need to go down again edit point let me just drag this somewhat yeah so you can see here the, uh, the curl paper effect has been added again if you want to edit this one you can just edit point and then you can just further adjust this one you can see here so depending on your requirement you can uh, choose the size and then what you need to do is you need to just give a a shadow effect for that let me just select this press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to use only one color which is somewhat uh, darker color and i can just increase the transparency and i'm just going to put it something like this go to format send back you can see here and again what i'm going to do is right mouse click edit points and i'm just going to put it exactly like this all right so you can see here i have just added some kind of a, a shadow effect also and at the top you can add some text here you can go to insert text box i'm just going to add your school name and make sure that this should be visible i'm going to make it white all right center align and choose any good font maybe i'm going to choose maybe verdana make it bold and increase the size and put it here maybe this much size is okay and make sure that it is align center all right and then you can add some ribbon here go to insert shapes and then you have got some ribbon designs here you can see here something like this i'm going to choose and i'm going to choose something here and this one also if you want you can just increase this area all right and put it here shape outline no outline and this also i'm going to use some a gradient fill here can you see this one and then you can add any text onto this one on top of this i'm just saying certificate or anything again white bold I'm going to choose the font Verdana or any other good font also you can add it here and then you can add some detailed text for that go to insert text box and I'm going to type equals LOREM within brackets one all right make sure that it is aligned properly and the color I'm going to choose the color which I've used for the background you can see here something like this and again you can just duplicate this you can add few more and at the bottom I'm just going to copy and paste you can see here I've just used like this is 2nd August all right and then you can just put the time and the venue and then you can add some few details below and here also you can add some more text so here you can add any text for example i'm going to add the text box and i'm just saying congratulations uh some text to be added here and then this one you can choose some different font maybe i can use the hand of sean you can see here and i can use maybe a golden color or some other color you know depending on the requirement and you can just add it so you can see here in the simplest terms i've just used this particular uh, certificate design and then it's very easy you can just go to the file and export and you can just export to a pdf file create pdf you can see here when i click 
you have got two option to choose standard publishing if you are printing go for this one this option and if you are uh, using uh, for online purpose then you can use this one for publishing online and then click on publish it will create the file and then it's very easy uh, to print it in the a4 size